presented by Malibu Black. I'm Preston Gaspar, Director of Special Events for Belasco Theater. The history of Belasco Theater, it was built in 1926 as a kind of traditional theater um, when downtown Los Angeles was the center of all things entertainment. It operated as a theater in the 30s and 40s. It opened with the West Coast production of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. And in its heyday, this was the happening spot for Los Angeles actors and musicians to actually perform here. In the 50s, it actually shut down. We took it over in 2008. This was a huge labor of love. It took three years, umpteen million meetings with the city because this is a historic theater but needed to be completely repurposed in order to function um, nowadays. We used to have fixed theater style seats, a sloped main floor, a fixed main stage. This had to be an event space that can do dinner parties. This had to be a concert space that can have world-class musicians perform. This had to function as a nightclub that can accommodate some of the world's biggest DJs. So we had to do a lot of fundamental changes um, to the building. So this is a mixture of Spanish Renaissance, Gothic, and Baroque architecture. This is sort of from the time when everything was over the top. Bigger is better and more is more. The building was essentially abandoned for 30 years, so a lot of the architectural details had to be touched up, and many of the, the details, such as the tile work, had to be actually restored. Uh, we had to go off pieces that were left intact and replicate them throughout the whole building. We had to definitely bring in tons of contractors who could see the vision of what this place was and marry it with what's new and current and have an interesting marriage between the two. It took three long years um, and we opened in March of 2011. We've had Prince William, Kate Middleton here, we've had Lady Gaga, Elton John, we've had Mumford & Sons, Skrillex, Diplo. This upcoming week we're doing two nights with MIA. Last week we had The Sounds and Tame Impala perform. Thursday nights you'll see an ready to party young crowd. And on our Friday nights we see generally a Hispanic demographic and Saturdays is generally Korean. And then we'll see, you know, very she-she Hollywood dinner parties happen Sunday through Wednesday. This past Saturday we had a Pakistani fashion show. Kind of shows the wide range of stuff that we did. Back in the 1920s when this first opened, downtown was where you went shopping, it was where you went to see plays, and so right in this area where we're at in downtown is where you see lots of historic theaters that are now getting renovated. I think people saw downtown almost as just Skid Row and beautiful office buildings a few years ago. It was sort of a place that no one really wanted to go to and that, quite frankly, no one understood. I think now with LA Live um, and all the concerts that happen downtown, certainly all the restaurants right in the local area, this is now sort of have changed people's perceptions of downtown. When people come to this venue for the first time, they love the old architecture, they love the old feel, and they love that this place has been completely renovated and brought back uh, to its original luster, its original glory. And you don't get that when you walk into the newest, trendiest Hollywood nightclubs that are just new and just trendy. Belasco Theater definitely represents downtown Los Angeles in that it was once abandoned and now has been refurbished, and what's old is now new again. I'm Steve Edelson, the owner of Los Globos. I'm Mitch Edelson, runner, operator, son of Steve. 